is this? This cheese has been here so long that magical crystals grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Squeak. Knowing that the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the mystical, mystical crystal fills you with determination. Okay. Well, at least I got all my health back. Oh, hey, it sounds again. What are you saying? Cheese box. Anything new in here? Nope. I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 5,000 gold to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? This is a prank. Huh? You aren't satisfied? Don't worry. I'll give you a full refund. <laughs> what's, what's, what's not enough? What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? What's here? What's it? Hmm. I don't know where I'm meant to go or where I want to go. Oh, hey, it's this guy again. The ancient glyphs have been painted over a list of 21 different flavors. It's a box for storing punch cards. It's empty right now. I relocated my store, but there's still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy an ice cream, you can take a punch card from the box. If you have free cards, you can trade them in for a free ice cream. I should've got the customers to come back. Ice cream. It's that frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25 gold. Sure. I... I need these healing items because I can't exactly speed this up. This place looks pretty. Actually, let's go down here first. Is this where I was meant to go? I honestly couldn't tell you. What do these say? I hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? Hmm, just one, but... It's kind of stupid. Guess it'll be... Oh, well. Oh, I can spare these right away. Cool. I get absolutely jacked for them, though. Don't know what happens if I turn these off. It's a pair of ballot shoes. Will you take it? Sure? I'm going to assume... Like, if the dog boss has anything to go by, it would seem to me that there are items around the place. Oh, who's calling now? Is it Papyrus? Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about your clothes? Well, the friend who wants to know, your opinion is very... murdery. But I bet you knew that already. Now, because you knew that, I told her what you told me you were wearing. A bandana. Because I knew, of course, that such a suspicious question, you would obviously change your clothes. You're such a smart cookie. Just for your sake, and I didn't lie. No betrayal anywhere. Being friends with everyone, it's easy. How nice of them. Okay, what's next? Oh, these again. Man, I don't get any XP or gold from this, what does it matter? You hear a passive conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't laugh. Wow, it took a while for them to do that conversation, didn't it? Yeah, well. Right. So if I double dose of them, it's just a nightmare. Flex is very hard and flexes himself out of the room. Okay, jeez, that was a close one. Power to take their souls. This is the power that humans feared. Uh... Hey there, yeah, I noticed you were here. Hi, Monion-san. Onion Sam, you here? You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I have to sit down all the time, but 
Hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city. I'm looking at a crowded aquarium. Like all my friends did. And the aquarium's full. Anyway, so, even if I wanted to, I... That's okay, though. You hear? Udine's gonna fix everything. You hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean. You hear? Hey, there. That's the end of this room. I'll see you around. Have a good time. In waterfall. Eyes in the corner. Smile. You smile. You ask the teacher who can smile. Two. It gets quieter. In the corner, Aaron nods his head approvingly. Okay, Tom. You want a sad song? Follows your melody. C B C B C B C B. Okay. So it's singing. Gotcha. Singing for the syrup thingy. Another room to hide a great treasure. Bring it. There's a piano here. Play it. Yes. Hold the sound gaggers down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first eight are fine. One second. Yeah, what if I go into the other area? This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. An incredible power will be needed to take the soul of a living monster. Right, monster let me try again. Okay, never mind. I'm trying to think. Okay, you mentioned the corridor and such. So well, first, most. let's just keep going here. There's only one exception. The soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, but only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. I know it never will. Okay, is this something here? It's a statue. Structures that its feet seem dry. Please take one. Take an umbrella? Sure. And I guess I go back here. Put the umbrella on the statue? Sure. Inside the statue, a music box begins to play. So, okay, so let's see. That's it, isn't it? Yeah, I messed up. Was it wasn't it? Pretty sure that was it. And it's in stop. Is 
I don't know. Guess I'll take one. Or maybe I just failed too much. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, that was it. Whatever. Hey, it's a kid. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. Let's go. Alright, I guess I'll be the kind-hearted soul. Man, Nadine is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. And if I was human, I'd wet the bed every night. Knowing she was going to beat me up. <laughs> so, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call in Mr. Dur Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool it would be if Dean came to school. She could beat up all the teachers. Hmm, maybe she won't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to have a hurt innocent person. Ah. Well, it's cool, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's not that. Yo, this place is way too steep. Yo, you want to see him, Dean, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. Kind of an umbrella. Okay. Return the umbrella? Yes. I return the umbrella. That's nice of him. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. You always also find a way to fall over. Okay. The sincere sound of a distant music box, it fills you with determination. I'm gonna call it good for now. So, because I bet you there's a boss battle coming up and I'm gonna get my ass kicked. So this would go, the humans afraid of our power declared war on us. They attacked us suddenly and without mercy. Because I'm almost certain that I'm gonna have to fight Udine. I know she's a boss in this. Actually, that's pretty much the only bosses I know. There's Sans, Toriel, Udine, Asgore, Papyrus. Yeah, all the other bosses I have no clue about. Uh, but until... And I'll just... It'll take too long otherwise. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye! Higher than I thought. Okay. I think we can still do it. I got hit by a fucking... No! By the way, x Shit to these guys. Yes, I particularly like that time they played your best game. Yeah, my best game? You know, the one with the princess and stuff. <laughs> Truly heartwarming story. You almost won that Oscar. Whoa, Eggman, listen. Sometimes you gotta draw a line in the sand, man. <laughs>